now we will start modeling of steel beams so here we will learn a very interesting things about modeling the beams so go to structure go to beam here universal sections so this section i am taking to start the modeling of beam so if we do this modeling from here to here and then here to here to keep our end portion at the middle this is the starting of the beam see the green line this green symbol means this is the starting of the member and this red line means it is the end of the member so for structural modeling it is very important to uh, take care of this start and end point so that when we will export the model to robot or any structural analysis software then it will be correct so to analysis it will be perfect for analysis so now if we do this one by one then here we will face one problem see this and this select and make end of set 1.4 meter apply see this is working like this this is not looking very logical and it will it will be okay if we assign connection here but I, we don't want to uh, see like this so what we will do so this is the difference between this style and another style i am showing i will model the beam as a single member from here to here this is showing like as a line if we want to see the real if we want to see the real shape then we can turn on the fine mode so that we can see the shape now in 3d we will see this is the starting point starting side and this is the inside of the beam now what will we do we will modify we will split elements we will save the model here we will make a folder revit still we will save this one now we will split at the middle 6000 millimeter from the beginning of the beam that means it is middle of the full section this and this now if we want to flip the structural member this is starting should be here and that's that end should be here so this side is okay and this side this member i will make it flip right click flip structural framing ends so see now the end is coming at the same point so this is point is starting and this point is starting for both the beams and this is the end point for both of the beams now what we will do we will select this and this and we will make offset 1.2 meter apply now see it is looking perfect before when we were modeling as a separate member it was going up and this is going down this was going down but the line of analytical model was correct 
but for logical view we can um, create single line model then we can split it to make like this press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update